Okay, so just write that down. It's 138 over 6. We're going to do this 6 into 138, which is the same thing, right? We're going to do long division and take our time here. So the first thing is it's hard to know what the answer is just by looking at it unless you're really good at arithmetic. Or your times tables of 6 go way above, you know, just... 10 times 6 is 60 or something. So we're going to help ourselves by just put your finger over the 8 and look at 13. See that? And so just think 6 into 13 goes how many times? And don't shout it out. Just write it down above the 3. How many times is 6 into 13? You write it down, right? All right. So 6 into 13, we get 2. That makes sense? Right, and then we just take this number and multiply it by this, right? And so 2 times 6 is 12. We write that here. Okay with that? And then just subtract. And you got 13 minus 12. And that's 1. You, call, you okay so far? And the next step is you take this number, you bring it down. And you write that there. Yep, and that's 18. You got that? Okay, and then you start over, only it's 6 into 18. 6 into 18. Yeah, put the 3 up there, good. And then, you're still not done, because you have to make sure there's a remainder, figure out if there's a remainder or not. 3 times 6. 18. 3 times 6 is 18, write it there, and then subtract. Zero. And that is your remainder, R. That's zero. So the answer is 23, and the remainder is zero. So that, 138 over 6 equals 23. All right? If you wanted to check it, you just go 23 times 6. Uh, 6 3 is 18, carry 1, 6 2 is 12, and 1 is 13, and that's, you know, that'll, this times this gives what's in here, right? If that makes sense. So, so these two numbers should multiply to give, to give the big one in there. Yep. Good.